What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about this little heater I've just made from my shop. Not this finished product, but um, yeah, I'm just going to be kind of showing you some of the progress along the way and showing you how I came up with this. So I did um, run across some waste, this is a waste oil heater, and I ran across some other videos on YouTube about waste oil heaters, and I have quite a bit of waste oil around here, and I'm always having to take it back and forth like to AutoZone and stuff to recycle it and I just uh, recycle it here myself and make some free heat so that's uh that's that was the thought process behind creating this heater is just free heat and uh, preferably not something that would fume it up I do have a torpedo heater here the torpedo heater uh, these will cost a lot of money and uh, it really did make a lot of fumes in the shop and just wasn't enjoyable to be in here so thought process behind with this was to, for the free heat like I said and to make it to where uh, you can stand to be in here so I'm out here working on my waste oil heater I started on this thing last year I put the spikes on the bottom some old railroad spikes uh, as feet this is an old air compressor I took the well this would be the bottom of the compressor here so I took one of the brackets off up here and took the compressor stuff off up here Left this one on here just to have, and then I've cut the door in here. And I've got an inch and a quarter pipe. Got a half inch pipe coming in. And see the little half inch pipe right there in the center of it. This is gonna have another piece of pipe uh, right here. I'm screw on that. Come down into a stainless pan down in here. This is where the oil is gonna come in. This is where a blower motor is going to be. So I threw a little quick bead around there. Probably is it the strongest weld because it's cast iron, but it'll hold. It's, I tightened all this stuff down and it didn't budge, so we're good. All right, so just put it out here to burn this coating off of it. And like the sticker and all this other stuff. So we got the door welded on this morning. She's a regular old house door hinge. Got a hair dryer in my coupler here, just on low setting. Just got a piece of PEX pipe with a funnel up here. So just putting a little bit of oil at a time. But once it gets this coating burned off, it's actually burning pretty clear. It's just the smoke off of this is making it worse. All right, so you can see the heater is burning over there. Kind of got it cleaned out a little bit around so that it'll have plenty of air to around it so there's nothing melting or catching on fire and that stuff got my bucket set up over here with the the um, ball valve on it so I can turn it on and off here and then this is the gate valve just controls the flow got my hair dryer over here at least temporarily I did buy a, um, uh, a dimmer switch uh, and I'm gonna maybe get um, maybe get a, um, an air mattress blower and plumb that in with the dimmer switch to where I can control the speed of it a little bit. Um, so we got our pipe, stove pipe going up through here and just run it through the wall. I'm not really concerned with it catching uh, the tin on fire. Right now it is just going straight out. I am going to make it to where it actually 90s up and then it'll have a cap on top of the pipe but I got the pipe I have right now isn't long enough to go past the roof line so I don't want it to ride the I don't want fumes and exhaust or whatever to come back in the the ridges of the tin so I got to get a longer pipe to where I can plumb it up above the eave here and then once it's above the eave then I don't have to worry about the fumes or anything coming back in the shop but it is burning clean out there so um, I just don't want anything to come back in here at all so it's nice and toasty in here I mean I'm probably six feet away from it right now, and it's feeling nice and warm. I mean, it's uh, in the high 30s outside right now, and I'm in here in a t-shirt, and I'm very comfortable. So. <laughs> Rolling. I think it might be putting out some heat. What y'all think? 
Sheesh, my baby's cooking. All right, so quick update on the heater. Uh, did a little more work to it today. Uh, I was seeing some issues like with it needing a little more air coming in. So I put some one inch 90s on it down here with a two inch piece that goes in. Um, so it kind of puts it almost at the center up under the up under the pan in there. And then I also welded a strip of metal around the door on the inside. Now the door is a little bit flexed out and that's why you can still see the fire around it, but it helps keep um, like splatter from, if the stuff's hitting the pan, it keeps it from splattering out. And also, I made me a handle. This thing is hot, you can see it glowing. I made me a handle, so basically you just push down on the handle and it turns it. Let's see? But, look, I put an aluminum can in there and it's melted it. <laughs> That tells you how hot it is but very little oil coming through there and this baby is cooking golly thanks so hot uh, also I added to the um, the pipe I had it four feet up so it dumps it out well above the shop up there cuts down on a little bit of fumes because yesterday we were running it with it just poking straight out about two foot out of the shop out there probably not even that much and it had a little bit of um, had a little bit of fumes coming back in along the the ridges of the metal so it was um, yeah it stunk pretty pretty bad in here and it wasn't enjoyable to be in here um, so I ran that up and uh, no fumes in here so far I've had it running mm, I had it probably running about an hour now tonight and it, it hasn't fumigated the, the shop so I think we're good. So my old chair was sitting over there pretty close to it and it started melting the chair. I had this sitting up there and it kind of warped it. It was starting melting that. It was very pliable whenever whenever I, I saw it was doing it and moved it. So there's some more stuff coming together for the UK. Um, but yeah, I got to keep an eye on this PEX tubing make sure it's not getting too hot but it's not I mean I could still touch it so um, I may have to wind up putting some kind of heat shield over it something just to keep it uh, keep getting too hot this is just like from where I heated up with a torch to bend it so get some oil in there yep this thing's incredibly hot Whew. overall I'd say it's a definitely a success I've got gallons upon gallons of waste oil in here and myself and Cody are starting a business at the first of the year doing a mobile oil change service so I should have a plethora of waste oil <laughs> so I've probably got I've probably got 30 gallons of waste oil here I just haven't taken up the AutoZone to recycle. So typically that's what I do is I take my oil, my oil to um, AutoZone and recycle it up there. But uh, they don't like you to bring but just a little bit at a time. So I, I've got a bunch here that I just haven't taken up there. Every time I go up there, I forget it. So but now I can just put it in my bucket over here and run it through the heater. And it burns clean and it's uh, free heat. So. If you guys are looking to set up a heater and you need some advice or anything, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about how to do this. This is actually where I learned to do it. I was just watching random videos one day and found it. And I was like, huh, that's a pretty dang good idea. So it uh, definitely beats the fumes and stuff from the torpedo heater I have in here. I do have a torpedo heater as well. It burns diesel fuel, but it just it, it makes so much odor and stuff in here. And that's the heat's great from the torpedo but it just uh, the fumes and then diesel is also super expensive now like I said the waste oil is free and I can find waste oil anywhere pretty much anybody's that uh, does their own oil changes and stuff I'd be glad to give you their old oil so I'm pretty excited about that I'm, I'm pretty sure that even AutoZone now that I have this running if I want to get some of their waste oil they would save it for me just there you know it's a uh, free heat 
keeps the shop nice and toasty. And I'm pretty stoked about it. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you smash that like button and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a comment below and let me know if you've ever seen one of these in action. And if you think that it's a good idea. So, hope to see you on another video soon. Peace.